Well, hooray. We certainly seem to be getting there now with regards to getting a grip on uh, exactly what's going on. We had some incredible results first three or four weeks of the season, but it is starting to settle down. And um, I'm probably sort of like setting me to set myself a little bit of a been a bit of a tough task mask, I think, on myself here, trying to get the correct scores. But what we are getting is the right results. You know, we're getting, OK, we're saying that this is going to be a draw, albeit I think last last week we tipped up a, a one all draw and it finished up as a nil-nil draw. And, um, you know, certain teams to win, which they have done, but haven't quite got the uh, the correct score. Um, I thought it was a great bet last last week with Man City, all those three bets that we, we put together. And in the end, uh, you know, it, it came through in the end at seven to four. So, I mean, there are not just about what, 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 you know, obviously what I'm tipping here, but just, a, you know, certain ways into hopefully opening people's minds as to ways into to get the bet that you exactly want. Anyway, let's start waffling on. Let's start with Tottenham against uh, uh, Huddersfield. That's our 12.30 on Saturday. Um, I'm going to go for Tottenham to win, albeit they're two to five which is way, way too short in this game. Huddersfield are, have had a really good start um, and they'll be a tough, certainly a tough team to, to play against. Two to five is, is, is not, not great. I'm looking for a bit of value in this game. So Tottenham to win, just, I hasten to add, um, and Kane to score at seven to 10. Double those two up. Tottenham two to five, way, way too short in the single market. But let's add Kane to score. Um, which gives us a, a price of seven to ten, which is uh, which is far more approachable, and a scoreline of two one. I'm going to go in this game two one to Spurs at eight to one. We move on. Bournemouth Leicester. Um, neither of these sides have had um, auspicious starts, should we say? Uh, so I'm going to go for a score draw in this one. I think that both sides, uh, Bournemouth particularly being at home, keep the score. And Leicester, we know, um, decent going forward. Uh, it's been a tough start. Uh, but they do need to start getting results. Um, so I'm going to go for a score draw in this one at 100 to 30. Chelsea, Man City. Well, I think this is a great... I mean, both teams to score at 4 to 7 is a, is a fantastic bet. I mean, it's, it's probably a little bit short for, for most people, but both teams to score is an absolute certainty. Over 2.5 at 8 to 11. Um, both of those are a little bit too short for you, and they probably will be. Then let's double it up at 7 to 4. So both teams to score... Over 2.5 goals, when you think about the way that uh, Man City, the armoury, the firepower they've got going forward, you know, but they are still, and we saw even last week against Palace, susceptible. You know, particularly first half, Palace had two or three great chances. You know, Chelsea are better going forward than Man City, uh, better going forward than Palace, sorry. So they'll provide a sterner test at Chelsea. Man City will score, no doubt about that. Um, so both teams score, uh, and over 2.5 goals. Is a double at seven to four individually, as I say, might be a bit short at four to seven. Both teams to score eight to 11 for the 2.5. So let's double them up. Burnley, um, Burnley, Everton. I mean, Everton the other night obviously watched the, watched the game against Limassol. They, they look bereft of confidence. Uh, you can see the nervousness, the expectation spending 200 million. You know, expectation shoots through the roof. That's exactly what's happened there. But the problem being is, you know, you have all the money in the world. They haven't replaced Lukaku. Um, and that's, that's, you know, that, that, that has undoubtedly had um, an effect on the, the, <coughs> the psychological, psychological uh, side to that, you know, to, to the team. And, you know, look around the dressing room, you're thinking, who's going to win us this game? And, you know, you haven't got a player like that anymore. It just takes away a little bit of the belief. So... A little bit of work to be done there. I think fans have got to stay with them. They've got to stay patient. You know, he's, he's, he's a decent manager. Um, I'm sure he'll come through. Right, I'm going to go... But having said that, I'm going to go for Burnley plus one in this game. So if it, the game finishes up a draw, you win. If Everton win by one goal, then you get your money back. It's a no bet. But I'm going to go for Burnley plus one. So the draw gives me a winning bet. And if they lose by a single goal, then you get your money back. Uh, last but not least, it'll be Liverpool against Newcastle. Um, Liverpool with the Fab Four back, apparently, for this game. I mean, it's the balance. It's all right saying we've got all these wonderful players going forward, but you've got to get a balance of getting them inside, getting them in the right positions and getting the best out of them. Uh, having said that, I think they'll have too much for Newcastle. 
So I'm going to go for Liverpool to beat Newcastle and both teams to score. Obviously, still a bit vulnerable. And we saw you know, Newcastle at home have, have played well at times. Um, so I'm going to go for Liverpool to beat Newcastle and both teams to score. That's five to two. My treble, um, lower league treble, will be Peterborough, Portsmouth and Luton. It's about time I got one of these up. That's at five to one. So Peterborough, Portsmouth and Luton at five to one will be my lower league treble. Good luck to everyone this weekend.